this is Stacy. We're going to talk a little bit about gift wrapping. My Aunt Janie sent me an email and said, hey, great gift wrapping videos, but do you do bows? And can you talk about bows? So this one's for you, Aunt Janie. <laughs> We're going to talk about bows and topping things off. I keep some of my bow equipment, if you will, in this box, which looks very decorative, so I'm not looking out for it for the holidays. I kind of put it under the tree, and it looks like it's part of the Christmas decorations. It's cloth, very cute. And in here is where I keep all kinds of different bows. And there's scissors, and there's some tape. Scissors. Occasionally there is a little stash of Christmas cards in case I forgot someone and they come to my house and they gave me one, then I can quickly run and fill it out and give it to them. <laughs> it does happen. And where is my scissors? Here we go. Scissors. Pen, red pen. I try to stick with red pens during the holidays. It's fun, bright on the cards. And some extra gift cards, little tags. So I'm looking in the gift box, and what we're going to wrap today, or bow today, are some presents for my daughter. And we're going to do it in two different groups. So I'm going to take the biggest ones, because I know what's in them. And this makes a nice little pyramid. And I'm going to make sure that all the snowmen's heads, kind of like your dolly bills at the bank, go in the same direction. Okay, because you don't want one upside down, and that just would look weird. Okay, then I'm going to look through my bow box to see what color complements the paper. No, because there's no blue in the paper. That would be a little strange, so we're not going to go with that. This I have enough of, the red, and it adds a little bit of sparkle. So let's take a second and see if we have enough of this bow. So, it's in two, no, it's in two pieces. It's not going to do it. So instead of, since we have two pieces, instead of giving up the whole idea of this color, I'm just going to break it into two. So I'm going to take this one and put it underneath, and then you measure the bow up at top so that it's even. Tie the bow just like you're tying a shoe. Pull it through and always fluff them. A lot of times, oh, here's my helper, Abby, coming to help again. Thanks, Abby. Thank you so much. I'll give you a little bow to go play with. Okay, there you go. Um, there's a little bit of wire in this particular uh, bow, so you can fluff them up a little, kind of like fluffing up a little pillow. And sometimes at the end of the bow, if you want, if it's not even and you want to make a little triangle, what you do is fold the bow in half and cut it on an angle. And then you have kind of a nice little design at the end of your bow. So there's one package. And then we're just going to do the same one for this. Slip the bow underneath. Make sure it's even at the top. Now, this bow is looking kind of sad. So, what I might suggest is putting it on top Flip them both over, and let's tape it. Where is my tape? Let's tape it so it stays in the bottom. Take this piece. Whoops. Take this piece over here. Fold it under so you can't see it. that it looks pretty even. Then if I flip it over, I don't want the package to 
to go sliding out. So I'm going to put one in the center, which is going to be covered up by the other package. So now this box here can't go too far. And put these together. And it looks like it was one piece. All because we were a little short on the bow. And if you want to keep them together, you can put a couple pieces of tape here just to keep the whole stack. But <laughs> this particular one we're running, we're running out, so I don't think we're going to have quite enough. But to give you an idea so it doesn't slide around, just put a little piece of invisible tape right there. And that's one of our bows on the bigger package. And we'll do another little um, bow suggestion on two. But we have to stop because it's long.